Your Neurox DPS may be implanted as a same-day surgery. Depending on your condition before and after surgery, you may need to spend the night. If you have a second procedure, at the same time as your DPS implant, you may need a longer stay in the hospital. You should discuss this with your surgeon prior to surgery. While you are recovering from surgery, a healthcare provider will adjust the settings on your Neurox EPG. The purpose is to give the right amount of stimulation to your diaphragm. If the stimulation makes you uncomfortable, tell your healthcare provider. He or she can change the settings to reduce or eliminate the discomfort. Before you leave the hospital, the staff will give you detailed instructions on how to use the Neurox DPS. You will also be given the patient caregiver information and instruction manual. You will use the Neurox DPS to condition your diaphragm. In conditioning, the Neurox EPG sends a small amount of electricity through the wires to your diaphragm. This causes your diaphragm to contract. When your diaphragm is conditioned, it will do a better job of helping your breathing. See the sections on conditioning sessions and conditioning warnings for information about conditioning your diaphragm. You will need to keep dry while using the Neurox EPG. The Neurox EPG is not waterproof. Refer to the section How to Shower or Bathe on page 34 for instructions on bathing, showering, swimming, or any activity during which you could get wet. If your Neurox EPG is properly cared for, the device should keep working for years. However, you will need to change the battery in your Neurex EPG about every 500 hours of use. The following sections will walk you through the use, care, and troubleshooting of the Neurex EPG. To turn the Neurex EPG on, press and release the two buttons on the front of the Neurex EPG at the same time. To turn the Neurex EPG off, Press and release the two buttons on the front of the Neurex EPG at the same time. The buttons must be pressed at the same time. This is a safety feature to guard against accidentally turning the EPG on or off. The Neurex EPG has a screen that shows what the Neurex EPG is currently doing and if it is working properly. The Neurex EPG screen shows the breaths per minute, BPM, and when the individual electrode wires are active. When the EPG sends electricity to the diaphragm to trigger inhaling, a letter A, B, or C is shown below each of the electrode wire numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. This shows that the Neurex EPG is working properly. The example in the instruction manual, figure 4, shows the Neurex EPG with A, 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 A on its screen. This means that it is working properly during inhaling. When any letter A, B, or C appears below the electrode wire numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, it means that the Neurex EPG is working. Other examples could be A, A, B, 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 A, B, A, B, A, C, C, B, 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 C, 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 etc. Just as long as A, B, or C appear below each of the four electrode wire numbers. During exhaling, a dash character is shown below each electrode number 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the screen. This means that the Neurex EPG is not active. It is not sending electrical stimulation. Your Neurex EPG has been programmed with the settings that your healthcare provider determines are right for you. A question mark appearing below an electrode number 1, 2, 3, or 4 on the screen can occur normally when the EPG's electric signal is at a low level. Later, the question mark should switch to a letter, A, B, or C, 
when the EPG's electric signal gets high enough. If X appears below an electrode wire number, it could mean one of these things. The wire is broken, the wire is loose in the electrode connector, the patient cable is broken, the patient cable is not properly connected, the Nurex EPG is broken. Please follow the troubleshooting guide provided in the caregiver manual. If you see that an electrode wire is loose or broken, call your healthcare provider who is helping you with your Nurex DPS to discuss how to get it repaired. Connect the patient cable to the electrode connector. To do this, hold the electrode connector between two fingers. Slide the patient cable into the connector holder. Secure the patient cable to the electrode connector. Insert the other end of the patient cable into the top of the Nurex EPG. To do this, line up the arrows on the patient cable with the top of the EPG. Push the cable into the connection until it is secure. Press the two buttons at the same time to turn the Nurex EPG on. When the conditioning session is over, press the two buttons at the same time to turn the Nurex EPG off. To disconnect the patient cable from the Nurex EPG, firmly hold the EPG in one hand, grasp the cable with two fingers as shown, and pull. Disconnect the patient cable from the electrode connector. To do this, hold the electrode connector between two fingers. Gently pull the patient cable out of the connector holder. Store all items in the patient kit provided. Care of exit sites. The following steps will show you how to take care of the exit sites. The exit sites are the locations where the electrode wires pass through your skin. The steps will show you how to Remove the electrode connector from the old connector holder Clean the exit sites Place the electrode connector into a new connector holder Apply a new connector holder onto the skin and Cover the existing electrode wires with gauze and transparent dressing. You should perform these steps every three days or more often if the dressing becomes wet or otherwise soiled. Important reminder, do not pull the electrode wires. Doing so may pull more electrode wire from under the skin. Wash and dry your hands before caring for the exit sites. Use two fingers, grasp the electrode connector, and tilt it down as shown here. Remove the electrode connector from the connector holder. Now remove the connector holder. Clean the exit sites with an alcohol wipe with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Always wipe toward the exit site. Allow the alcohol to air dry before use. Once dry, place the electrode connector into a new connector holder as shown here. Snap the electrode connector down into the connector holder. The gold pins should be facing out for the cable to plug into them. Carefully remove the paper backing from a new connector holder. Make sure you do not pull on the exiting electrode wires. Carefully press the new connector holder onto the skin. Place a 2x2 gauze pad over the exiting electrode wires. Place a transparent dressing over the gauze. Tegaderm and Opsite are examples of transparent dressings. Do not cover the gold pins with the transparent dressing. How to shower or bathe. Caution. Do not get wet while using the Nurex EPG. This includes bathing, showering, or swimming. The Nurex EPG is not waterproof. The following instructions are written for bathing. Before bathing, disconnect the patient cable from the electrode connector. 
Cover the wires and the connector holder with a waterproof dressing. When you are done bathing, carefully uncover the wires and the connector holder. If you notice moisture on the electrode connector, wipe it with an alcohol wipe. Use a wipe with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Allow the alcohol to air dry before use. Alarms. The Nurex EPG sounds an alarm if it detects any of the following problems. A beep lasting the duration of each inhaled breath will sound if the patient cable gets disconnected from the Nurex EPG or if the connection is loose, if the patient cable gets disconnected from the electrode connector or if the connection is loose, if an exiting electrode wire is broken at the electrode connector. The alarm will repeat until the problem is resolved. A beep lasting 10 seconds may sound and replace BAT appears on the screen. The 10 second alarm repeats once every hour. This means that the Nurex EPG has switched to the internal backup battery. It means that it is time to replace the main battery. A beep lasting 20 seconds may sound and low battery appears on the screen. The 20 second alarm repeats once every minute. This means the internal backup battery is low. It means that it is time to replace the main battery immediately. Replace the battery every 500 hours of Nurex DPS use. This is about every 20 days if you are using Nurex DPS full time. The Nurex EPG screen will initially show replace bat. It will alarm for 10 seconds every hour when your battery needs to be replaced. Replace the battery immediately if the Nurex EPG screen shows low battery and if the Nurex EPG alarms for every 20 seconds every minute. Warning: The Nurex EPG has a lithium battery. Take care to prevent fire or explosion. Do not short circuit, recharge, puncture, burn, or crush the battery. Do not immerse the battery in water. Do not expose the battery to temperatures above 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. To change the battery, follow these instructions. Make sure that the Nurex EPG is turned off prior to replacing the battery. Use the provided flat blade screwdriver to loosen the screws on the back bottom of the Nurex EPG. Remove the battery cover located on the back bottom of the Nurex EPG. Remove the old battery. Replace it with a new battery. Replace the battery cover and secure with mounting screws. Follow local regulations when you dispose of old batteries. Important! Use only the kind of battery specified in the patient caregiver information and instruction manual. Do not use a standard alkaline battery in the Nurex EPG. Please be sure to put the battery in the correct position. To order additional disposable items, such as lithium-ion batteries, connector patches, gauze, etc., please contact Edge Park Medical Supplies at 1-800-321-0591. Their physical mailing address is 1810 Summit Commerce Park in Twinsburg, Ohio, 44087. If you have additional questions, please contact Synapse Biomedical directly at one 888-767-3770. Again, 1-888-767-3770. Or you can reach us at synapsebiomedical.com.